Nobody know the lock shop now, sir. We know the shed blood now, sir. We are a peaceful party, and therefore we they look up to a very peaceful election. The one day where they plan for bring bus bus, when we don't begin arrest already, we will continue for arrest them. But make sure say we get peaceful election. One country, one people. Already we don't begin grab them. The one that where they bring peace to, the one that where they plan, the one that where they recruit, then we to the for uh, ex servicemen. And maybe today, as I stand here, I also want for tell the one day. We then call themselves ex servicemen for say we all don't fight in this country before and we're not ready for fight again. Therefore, they're not for mixed by anything. Anybody will fight through war, he never go join anybody where they fight for political power for country stuff. Election is election, it has to be peaceful. We are tired of violence, we are tired of war. Sierra Leone's president, who is running for re-election, held his final rally in the capital on the Free Towns Rumeli Beach Tuesday. Julia Simada Biur held his final rally in the capital before the polls opened on Saturday. Voters will also elect MPs and local councils. Julia Simada Biur is one of the 13 candidates vying for the top office. The Sierra Leone People's Party nominee called for a peaceful election at the end of tense campaign. I want to appeal to everybody, we want peaceful elections. No violence, you have your card. On that day, go and vote, he told his supporters from a stage of Free Towns, Rumeri Beach. Traditional parade like political street rallies have been banned this year to avoid potential violence. Maxud Gribil Sassi, former electoral commissioner, expressed concern that there wasn't a process of healing after deadly riots in August last year. Everybody knows that elections are a period where they just need something to spark off and then there will be a troll everywhere. The two main parties waited until just a month before elections to release their manifestos. Since then, the opposition that lambasted the Electoral Commission of Sierra Leone for alleged bias in favor of the ruling party, raising speculation that it is laying the groundwork for a court challenge, a tactic both parties have used in the past. This information abounds on both sides, and the online space could have a more significant influence on voters than ever this year. Information Minister Mohamed Rahman Swale told AFP that internet penetration had risen to nearly 3 million from 370,000 300, people in 2018. At the helm of the ruling Sierra Leone People's Party, a former coup leader who spent three months as head of state in the 1990s championed education and women's rights during his first mandate. In an interview, he said he would prioritize agriculture and reducing food imports next. Kamara 72, a former finance and foreign minister who lost to Beer in 2018, ran off told AFP he would restore confidence in the country's economic institutions and bring in foreign direct investment. He is currently on trial for embezzling public funds while he was foreign minister in a case his supporters believe is politically motivated. However, while he has campaigned on economic issues, observers believe the dear fight situation is likely to translate directly into a loss for Bill. Thank you so much for watching.